but you know we just whoever wants to go have steak then we go you know so it's not uh you know, I think maybe as French guys, maybe a little bit more together, but usually uh, whoever wants to go, we go with them. Was well, there any celebrity, somebody outside of hockey, or like someone you'd like to meet and have dinner with and converse with? Male or female? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Danny Potash, but <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. I'll come back later. All right, next up, Pat, you have a question for both. Uh, sticking with the restaurant, uh, question here. What are your favorite restaurants in the city and what do you get when you eat there? Uh, I really like Bossa Nova. Uh, a friend of mine uh, owns it and it's great food and stuff so uh, we go there quite a bit. Uh, La Tavola too, uh, down in Mount Washington, a little bit more quiet place uh, for Italian and stuff so that's uh, pretty much it. You're fine. Same place. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Melissa. What's your question? I know that both of you um, are from near the same place in Canada, and I was wondering if you ever speak French to each other on the ice, and if you do, are you worried that other players won't understand? We always do, uh, me and Flower. We have this little ritual, too, right before a game. I go see him, and then, uh, not sure what we say, but it's French. <laughs> uh, that's a little insight. We always... Uh, talk a little bit, but when we're, let's say I would have to talk, uh, I'm on the same line in penalty killing with Pascal Dupuis, who's French, well it's me and him, I need to tell him, oh we should have done that, or we should do that next play, I'm going to talk to him in French, uh, but if obviously uh, we're uh, three or four guys, on, three guys on the line and one is English, me and Dupuis are going to speak English, or the other guy would understand. Yeah. Same. I'm, like I'm just, uh, yeah, by myself in the net most of the time, so I just... <laughs> Talk to my post once in a while. <laughs> you talk to your post in, in French or English? Or like, uh, like this post in French? I go bilingual. I go bilingual. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of both, you know. Thank, thank them for making saves. So, so. <laughs> thank you. That's all. Yep. Okay, um, Daniel, you're up. What's your question? And please make it good. <laughs> so you're both from Montreal, one of the great cities uh, in North America. What do you miss most about home, and what was your biggest pleasant surprise moving to Pittsburgh? Uh, what I miss most about Montreal would be my family, my complete family. That's why I went back for Christmas for a day. Uh, obviously, you miss the snow and the atmosphere, because Montreal is really a European kind of city, uh, and it's really stylish, and it's different. And obviously, you miss speaking your born language, your first language a little bit. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, what did I like about Pittsburgh? Uh, this the scenery, like the uh, scenic views. I guess can I say that? Yeah. Scenic views is uh, is beautiful, and obviously people in Pittsburgh have been uh, uh, tremendous and really nice, and uh, it, it's great here. And Max has a new contract, and he's going to be around a while. We already know the flower does too, so that's good stuff. Uh, I think for me, leaving home was uh, most of my family and friends. I think that was the toughest part. Um, but when I came to uh, Pittsburgh, though, like usually we always hear that uh, you know hockey is not such a big deal in the, in the USA, and um, I was I was glad to see that in Pittsburgh. You know, it was uh, always a big crowd cheering for us, and you know, so many fans. So that was uh, that was the best thing about it. Okay, the next question is from from Jackie. I'm gonna put you on the spot here because I'm that kind of guy. Um, She's really nervous. And Max, she has a question for you, so I want to help break the nerves. Would you come down here, please? Oh, come on. Sure. She going to ask to marry Just me or something? Come down. Come down. Come on. Now, players are always like talking, or fans are always talking about how I always get hugs from players like Ryan Malone and George LaRock. Max, would you give her a hug oh, to kind yeah, of make, sure. ease, the, ease the pain? There you go. Doesn't that feel good? Oh. Isn't that better? You're not nervous anymore, right? Oh. You're better now, huh? Okay, I'm a good now, hugger. We'll just keep it right here. What, what is your question for Max? My question is, you're obviously a comedian. Which is your favorite penguin to pick on, and which personality, your mother's or your dad's, do you take after? Uh, I'll answer the second part of the question. I have a little bit of both personality on my parents. Uh, I have that uh, work ethic of my dad, if I can say, and that craziness of my mom, in a good way. Uh, <laughs> so I take a little bit of both. Uh, and... Uh, 
I think Christopher Letang would be the, the guy that uh, <laughs> I like to pick on the most. You happy now? Okay, you, you go back to your seat and you go back to your cage. Okay. <laughs> Please. Staggy, back to you. Well, uh, we're out of time. Isn't that unfortunate? Because oh. we could go on and on with this, couldn't we? This is fun stuff. It went so quick. I know. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming on. We appreciate it. Thanks for speaking English for us. <laughs> and um, I think that was English. Uh, but no, really. Thanks a lot. I'm kidding. <laughs> We'll be back with a final word in English <laughs> on Inside Penguins Hockey, presented by Comcast. This is an intervention. Okay. We need to get you off the direct TV. Oh, you guys are freaking me out. There's a void in your life right now. You need more HD. Direct TV, Comcast. I mean, tons of movies. I Am Legend, did you see that? I Am, no, I wanted to see that. Yeah, too. it's on HD. It's, it's all right there, you know, whenever you want it. This is the talking pillow. You just tell me how you feel right now. I think I need Comcast. I think I do. Come in here, everybody. Let's give the new Steve a hug ski. If your club, organization, or business is planning a meeting, dinner party, or wedding, Think Marriott City Center Hotel. The Marriott City Center has up-to-date, renovated meeting rooms, top-notch catering, and an experienced staff, all at reasonable prices. The Marriott City Center has the facilities, the chef, and the experience to put together your next event. The Pittsburgh Marriott City Center. Call 471-4000. Whoa. It has no keyboard. And then... Did it just click? You've never clicked a screen before. Is that supposed to happen? And is it supposed to feel so right? It feels like a keyboard, just no keys. What kind of mad genius is behind this? Oh, right. America's largest 3G network introduces the world's first touchscreen BlackBerry. Only from Verizon Wireless. season, those who never stop exploring always stop at Dick's Sporting Goods. You guys are a great audience. We kid about the English and the French, but I can't speak a word of French. I'm amazed always at these players and how they're able to adjust and shit to the new cultures that they're thrown into. And really, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming on. How about that? It wasn't a great having Mark Andre and Max Talbot on. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. For Dan Potash, I'm Paul Steigerwald. We'll see you next week on Inside Penguins Hockey, presented by Comcast.